Hey there, my name is Colt. I teach people things online. And this is my crash course on HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. In 30 or so minutes, I'm gonna do my best to teach you the basics of how these three technologies fit together, what they each do, how they interact, and then also we'll actually build a simple project together. This series is really intended for anyone with any degree of interest in these skills, whether you hope to become a developer one day, uh, you wanna take a more advanced course after this, or you just wanna be able to talk to developers or understand how things work, or maybe you're just a hobbyist and it seems fun. All right, let's talk about how this thing works. So I have four videos in this series. I'm gonna try and keep them all relatively short and not too boring. I know how easy it is to click away from a long video on YouTube. And the first video, which is this one, is gonna explain the big picture. So I'm introing the course right now, but after this, we're gonna talk about kind of the big idea of behind HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, how they work together. In the next video, we'll dive into writing our own HTML. So we'll start our project. And then the following video, we'll talk about the basics of CSS. We'll add CSS to the existing HTML from the second video. And then the final video, I'm titling Stumbling Through JS. Uh, it's a working title, but that's probably a pretty accurate representation of what it's going to be like for us or for you if you're not familiar with JavaScript. The first two, HTML and CSS, are, are definitely much more straightforward and easy to learn. Here's a little emoji guide. This, this is supposed to be you. Explaining the big picture, pretty easy. Diving into HTML, easy, slightly less of a grin. Learning CSS basics, now we're just kind of smiling instead of grinning. And stumbling through JS, yeah, that might be a bit trickier. I'm leaving it for the end. I just wanna set expectations now that you are not gonna leave this crash course being an expert in any of these technologies, but you will feel much better probably about your HTML and CSS and have a better grasp of how those work compared to JavaScript. We're just gonna to touch the surface of JavaScript. It's a much, much bigger technology. There's a lot more to talk about. So with one short video, we're not gonna be able to address very much. With that said, the objective of this course is not to make you a JavaScript expert. The goals are to build a basic website with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I swear I had that on the slides. It only says HTML, but it's supposed to be with all three. Then we wanna understand how everything fits together. We wanna to write introductory HTML and CSS. We wanna look at some JavaScript without panicking. So you will write some JavaScript, but you may not understand every single component of it. Uh, it's more big picture JavaScript. Let's put it that way. All right, so what are we gonna build? This is the beautiful website that we're gonna to build together from scratch, starting from nothing at all. Here it is. It might not look like much, aside from adorable. This is my new cat, and she actually, she doesn't have a name right now, so if you have any ideas, please leave some comments here. But the idea behind it, aside from just showing a static circular photo, you can click this button, look at that little animation, real fancy, click on it, there's another photo of her in a basket on my laptop between the cracks of a door <laughs> in a sink. She's a little grumpy. Yep, so that's my new cat. This is what we'll build by the end of the course. So this has HTML, CSS, and JavaScript all put together. As far as what you need to complete this course, there's not much. You need a computer. Doesn't really matter what type, Mac, PC, public library, computer, computer cafe, somewhere, it doesn't matter at all. Everything that I'm gonna show you works on any platform. And you need 30-ish minutes, 30-ish, because it may end up being more like 40, but let's just say 30-ish for now, that's our goal. And let's say the timer starts now, not at the beginning of this video. Okay, so let's get on with it. Transition, so I'm looking at YouTube, the homepage for YouTube, I spend way too much time looking at this already. And what I wanna show you Behind any website, whether it's YouTube, Google, some restaurant, menu website, Yelp, anything, any website that you ever visit, it consists of, at a bare minimum, HTML, most likely CSS, and nowadays also most likely JavaScript. So at, at most, it's HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, and at least it's HTML. And when I say that a website consists of those technologies, what we see right here is the rendered version of a website. So when I actually go to youtube.com, I'm gonna refresh right now. I'm sending a request to YouTube servers asking for the latest version of this homepage. And it sends to me something that looks like this. I'm in Chrome and I'm gonna to go to right click 
view page source. If you're not using Chrome, it's okay. You don't have to do this part. This is going to allow us to see exactly what the web page actually looks like. This is the skeleton underneath that skin. This is what is sent back from that YouTube server. And it's a mixture of HTML. This is some HTML here, CSS. This is some CSS here and JavaScript. If I keep scrolling, this is some JavaScript. So a website like YouTube is insanely complicated, but I just want to show you that behind the scenes, it is those three technologies and they combine to make it this, which is not that impressive, but then your browser, whatever browser you're using, knows how to translate this, take this set of directions, and actually make a nice looking web page, which we see here. Okay, so we've established that HTML, CSS, and JavaScript are three things, and that's pretty much it. We know that they combine to make what we see here, but what are they each responsible for? Well, let's swipe over here, and I have another web page open. This is called codepen.com. It's a website that allows me to share HTML, CSS, and JavaScript code with you very easily. You don't have to download everything. It's all in the browser. So we have three windows to type each technology, and then a fourth window at the bottom that shows the rendered website, the result. Right now, I don't really have any CSS or JavaScript. And actually, what I have in the HTML window is not really valid HTML. It's just some basic text. I should mention that this right here this is commented out HTML. This means it is not running. I've made it invisible. And I'm going to fix that in just a moment. But for now, this website down here is just the result of this text. It's plain text. And I just have a couple of lines that say things like, make me a bullet point. It's currently not a bullet point. Make me a button here. It is not a button. It's just text. If I comment this out, so that's command slash on a Mac. On a PC, it is control slash. One of those buttons down there next to control with a slash, it no longer runs. And I'm going to uncomment this code here. This is HTML. It's the exact same text, the same idea, the same data, but it's all wrapped in these tags. Let's see if I can make this a bit larger. These HTML tags encode structure in our page. So this H1 that is wrapped around this, I want big text here, transforms it into big text. It's a way of pointing to something and saying, make that big, make that italics, make that a bullet point, which is what we have here. And you can see we have make me a bullet point, make me another bullet point. Or finally, make me a button here. I wrap that in a button tag and we get a button. It doesn't do anything, but we've basically encoded structure into our plain text, into our data. So that's all that HTML does. There's no colors or styles. There's no interactivity. It's purely the skeleton of the web page. We'll spend more time with it in the next video. Okay, on to CSS. I'm going to paste in some CSS here, and you can see that immediately my page changes. It's not particularly nice looking, but I now have some color here and some color here. And that's really what CSS does. It doesn't just add color, but it adds style. So it takes HTML elements, things that we add with HTML, the structure, and we give them color. We put some makeup on them. We change the size of them. We rotate them. We can even animate things. There's a lot of possibilities. We move them around. We add borders. This is just barely scratching the surface. But I just really want to introduce the main idea. So HTML is like the nouns of a sentence. CSS is like the adjectives. These adjectives describe the noun. I want big text is an H1. OK, it is a purple H1. Or that button has a two pixel border and background color is this. If you're not familiar with hexadecimal colors, don't worry. I could replace this with something like pink. And now I have a pink button. And I could make the border 20 pixels, and we get a really thick button. So that's CSS. We'll cover that in two videos from now. And then finally, we have JavaScript. So JavaScript, like I said, is a little more complicated. But it is a full programming language that allows us to add interactivity to add life to our web page. Before, without the JavaScript, our web page was static. It didn't do anything. It never changed. Now I've added in some JavaScript, and it makes this button work, and it does something. Every time I click this button, it picks a random color, and it changes the background color of my web page to that new random color. So every time I click, I'm adding a new color to the page. Very simple example, but that serves to illustrate what JavaScript can do. HTML with CSS on its own can make some beautiful web pages, 
But if you want to make a game, you want to make interactivity, you want to add chat, other features to your website, for example, on YouTube, I could just display these videos and all this text and style things with pure HTML and CSS. But as soon as I add this search here, let's say I really wanted to see Jake Paul's latest video for some reason. See this autocomplete here, this, this uh, suggestions, this is done with JavaScript. This is interactive. It's not just showing me the same content that was here when the page loaded. There's new information appearing. That's just one example of JavaScript on this page. So those three technologies, I used to call them the front end holy trinity, but then one of my students said that they were offended by that, I guess, because that's religious terminology or something. So I'm just going to call it the front end trinity. Let's go with that. Just cut out holy. HTML encodes our structure. CSS is our style, how things should look. And JavaScript is how things should behave. And we'll stop here. In the next video, we'll actually fire up our text editor and create an HTML file and write our own tags from scratch. See you then, if you come back.